Bobby Blanco at the PNC Digital Desk with another series insight, PNC Bank helping to make a difference. Let's look back at the Nationals last game before we look ahead to their upcoming series. The Nats are back home after a four game road trip to Queens against the Mets over the weekend. They were only able to come away with one win, a blowout victory on Saturday, and dropped Sunday's finale 5-2 as Trevor Williams gave up five runs over four innings against his former team. The right-hander was placed on the bereavement list Monday as Hobie Harris was recalled from AAA Rochester. Now back in D.C., the Nats welcomed their Brewers for three games before hitting the road again. It's the first meeting between the two teams this year, with the Nats visiting Milwaukee in September. The Brew crew enters this series a half game behind the Reds in the NL Central and a half game ahead of the Phillies for the final wildcard spot. Keep in mind, the trade deadline is Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Jake Irvin makes his 16th start of his rookie season in Monday's opener. The right-hander has been doing a nice job of pitching deep into games lately, completing at least six innings in each of his last two starts, although he did surrender four runs in two of his last three outings. Corbin Burns starts for the Brewers, his 22nd of the year. The former Cy Young Award winner has a 3.46 ERA, but leads the NL with a 10.45 whip and 6.4 hits per nine innings rate. C.J. Abrams continues to light up the base paths. He's your player to watch this week. The young shortstop is tied for fourth in the NL with 24 stolen bases, and he has stolen 21 consecutive bases without being caught, which is tied for the longest active streak in the majors with Trey Turner. And that just about wraps up this series insight from the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make a difference.